Hi everyone, Mitch here with MyRSILife.com and in today's video I'm going to show you a quick little tutorial or demo about this awesome app that I've used in my work life called Remote Mouse. And what this app does is it allows you to control your computer using a touchscreen uh, like a tablet or cell phone. And so let's get into it. Okay, so to set this up, you go to the Play Store here and just type in Remote Mouse. And it's this little green icon with the little mouse on it. Once you have that up, you also download that on your computer. So that can be found on the Windows Store. I'm sure it works for Mac. I've actually not tried it for Mac, but if any of you viewers has, go ahead and let us know in the comments. So I can just use the touch screen here and open up Remote Mouse. There is no indication that it's up and running. I suppose we can see it here. Yep, there it is. And so once that's running, you can click Remote Mouse on your mobile device and this select a computer prompt will pop up. It'll search your Wi-Fi. I already have my laptop in my history, but if your mobile device and your PC are connected to the same Wi-Fi, then they will be recognized. You can also connect over Bluetooth, but I've heard that it's not as fast, so I do recommend Wi-Fi if you can. Okay, so you open this up, and now we've got what looks like our mouse pad. So this big old mouse pad, by the way, this device that I'm using is the Galaxy Tab S6. That's the Galaxy model from a few years ago, but any kind of tablet or even cell phones, mobile devices can work. So I'm in left-handed mode. I'll show you how to access that. I'm left-handed, but it, it defaults to right-handed mode. And so down below, here is our click, or that's right-click rather. And then in left-handed mode, it's, it's right-click. And then here's click and I'll show you some of the features here. On the left is the scroll bar. Let's open up a Word document here and I'll show you how we use it. So you can use two fingers or two styluses, but two fingers just like a trackpad will scroll up and down. And then as well, you can use, if you're just using one, like I usually just use one, this will scroll up and down. And then here's, of course, right click, which we kind of already demoed. And then keyboard, right? So over here, this little icon here is the keyboard. So let's click that and it opens up your device's keyboard. Whichever app you have open, it will type your text into that app. So let's just say hello. And my, my hand is in kind of an awkward position. You can see the tripod here holding up the camera so I can film. But uh, once you press the space bar, it inputs that into the application. So then we'll say thank you. Today is awesome. So, <laughs> awesome. Now, you can go back and use the delete button. And that's, you know, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. The done key here on the Samsung keyboard, that corresponds to enter on your regular keyboard. Uh, voice input works too. Hello, hello, hello. There you go, isn't that crazy? So let's go back to keyboard. And you know, your device has keyboard settings that you can open up and change. Go back to remote mouse here. So close that. Let's go to settings. So that's this little, I guess some folks call it the hamburger icon right here. Come on, focus for me. There it is. So we can open up the hamburger icon and here's all of our settings. Let's see if we can zoom in, show you these settings. So it'll have your account, you can have the volume button on there, 
Mouse buttons showing or not showing, one hand slider I always like. Now I'm left-handed, so I activate left-handed mode. You can change your mouse speed. That may be important depending on how big your monitor is. You can change your scrolling speed. Let's see these advanced features. Enable mouse acceleration. So if you move it fast, if you move at a steady speed, the mouse will actually accelerate if you're not changing directions. Oh, it looks like right click you can tap with two fingers. I don't really use that, but it looks like that's a feature. Two finger scroll, I kind of demoed that. Well, anyway, play around with these, find what works for you. Then you can change the wallpaper, right? I have kind of the art, you know, the, the Japanese wave here, but then you can do, you know, polka dots. There you go, now it's polka dots. So that's remote mouse. They also have some other features, like if you go in here, here's the frequently asked questions, FAQ. That can be handy if you're just learning, so check out that page you know, fail to connect, that can happen. So anyway, that's basically the demo. It's pretty awesome. I highly encourage you to use this free app. So that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you have any and see you next time.